Hello everybody! I hope everybody's doing well. So, this video is about an amazing file format called VSF Avatar File. But first, some prerequisites. We're discussing VTubing, which is about using a virtual avatar. In this case, to either stream or to make videos. We're specifically covering VC Face, which is for 3D avatars. If you don't use VC face, then this video will not apply to you. Also, I have I have no connection to VC face. I just really like the software and I want to talk more about it to help future VTubers. In 3D VTubing, the format you're most uh, frequently going to use is VRM or a virtual reality modeling file. This is a simple file that acts as a common denominator and it only supports minimal features to ensure maximum compatibility. Anyone who's made any kind of 3D avatar in VTubing has most definitely used a VRM file format. Because it has to be compatible for any program out there, it means that support is very, very limited. The shader support, it only supports just a small handful of preset shaders. And you are allowed to have props like this up here, but there's not a lot you can do with the props. Most things you can do in Unity will also not be supported in VRM. VRM is not meant to capture the unit, the magical Unity environment. It's just meant to capture just a few things so that way it can work with a lot of programs. However, one of the focal points of VTubing is the level of creativity you can come up with the idea that you can get lost in hours of creativity on your avatar. This is why people love, love VR chat because in VR chat, you can really go crazy with most things such as particles, custom shaders, custom animations, and static toggleables. The static toggleables would be like this. I can move around, but it's not moving with me. VC face recognized this issue and decided to create a very special file called VSF Avatar, which stands um, for VC Face Avatar File. This file uh, tries its best to preserve the entire scene and all components and bring that into VC Face. This means that you can create everything in Unity how you want it, a lot like how you would do for a VR chat avatar. And it would just work in VTubing. It would be able to just package that up and move it into your v into VC phase, which is super cool. There are some limitations though, mainly imposed by Unity. For example, custom scripting is not supported and there are some components which may not be compatible. Overall though, the goal is to have as wide range compatibility as possible, which is super cool. This file even has several components of its own, such as custom expressions, kind of like I showed you earlier, the sad. The happy, <laughs> the angry, <laughs> which can also be used for custom animations and toggleable props and marking objects and movable. So I showed you the objects and movable, but we also have a wide range of props that we can do. We can do the hot D, we can do the, uh, the heart, we can take off the glasses, we can put on the cat ears. Let's remove the crown. Oh, let's also do the fairy wings. You can also create and use custom cameras and much more. It also supports some third party components, such as ones that let you capture other windows on your computer. I really want to do this. I have not done this yet. It's important to note that this level of creativity is not supported at all in the VRM format. And that if you decide to take on this, this extra awesomeness and to your file and use the VSF avatar format, your avatar will not be compatible with any other program except for VC phase. There's not only several 3D VTubing programs out there, but there's also several programs to bring your avatar into a virtual setting for photographs and such. Virtual programs meant for streaming or video recording. VSF avatar format is not compatible with any of these programs. In fact, the VSF avatar file it can't even be re-imported. So once you export your whole Unity magical scene into the VSF avatar format, you cannot, that file is read-only 
permanently. You cannot bring it back into Unity. It can only go into VC phase. This means you must make a decision on how much creativity you want. And if you're willing to sacrifice all compatibility with everything else and vendor lock it to VC phase exclusively and understand that distribution of the file means the person who receives it cannot open or edit the file in any way. If you still want to proceed, you need to download the SDK from the GitHub page, which is behind me. So right here is the VC face SDK. And I'm going to provide a link um, in chat for you. And you need to go into the releases and download the latest release that they have. It will download as a Unity package, which you just um, insert into Unity as a custom asset. It does require a very specific version of Unity. And in the README, it explains everything you need to know. It explains all compatibility. It explains um, what it requires. Um, you need Unity 2019.4.16 F1. And it explains some other requirements you may need, such as uh, linear color space and other things. I highly recommend going through the README um, just so that you don't run into problems that you could have avoided. Thanks for watching and be sure to check me on the Twitch if you're interested. My latest hours are posted on the channel about page. Have fun creating. Bye bye.